Right, so this video is all about creatine. Now, it's a very rogue supplement to take as a cyclist, but I think actually in the winter, it's a really good supplement to take. And I'm experimenting to see if it actually has any advantages. Now, first of all, the reason why I think it's a good supplement to take in winter is because generally that's when most people are doing their strength training and creatine has really good effects on increasing muscle, uh, increasing maximal strength. So first of all, we're gonna go through just the, a brief overview of science of why strength training is good. Um, this is basically, um, actually this one is slightly relevant, uh, but basically this, this study is pretty good. It basically shows lactate threshold increases, um, when you go to the gym, so it's 12% increase, pretty solid. I mean, most of this is like, I assume you've seen Dylan Johnson's videos on it. People are relatively convinced that, um, strength training helps cycling. This is cycling economy. So that basically means just, you're just more efficient. Uh, when you cycle. So there's no change in how much oxygen you could uptake or body weight, which is quite big. Uh, but cycling economy increase, which means for the same given effort, you're going to do more power. So that's a pretty strong study as well. And you'll recognize some of the names. Ron Astad, he's a, one of the authors of the 3015s papers, which is why everyone does like 9 minutes 15 of 3015s. Um, and this again showed that it increased power at VO2 max. So that's always good to see. Um, and this is like trying to stimulate uh, a breakaway and you can see that the increase in power of the five minute TT went from 380 watts to 400 watts. So that's pretty strong. Um, however, what I think is more interesting um, is actually creatine and cycling. Now, I don't think it has the biggest agreements. So you can see this study here. Uh, what it was is it was like trying to simulate road race. So it's basically like riding at a high 6% of aerobic capacity with some 10 second sprints, 100%, 10% of VO2 max at 15 minutes. I mean, it's not exactly great. Um, and then basically they did it before and after having uh, creatine, three gallons per day. You could argue you need more, especially at the loading phase. What is the conclusion though? Um, it might lead to a reduction in oxygen, but it doesn't improve sprint performance. So not great. Uh, this study is all about time trial performance. Again, it doesn't really matter what the study is that much, to be honest. I mean, they basically did like, uh, 10k, it was 120k TT with 1k and 4k sprints. But anyway, conclusion was that like, yeah, if you have creatine and carbohydrates, you might be good, but at the same time, not going to take creatine on the bike. So that's a bit useless. Um, but the reason creatine is good is this is the study is that it really is shown 100%, no doubts, like this is definitely something that works, increases power and strength uh, in the gym. And I think this is something that is really good uh, especially if you're vegan, because apparently actually which uh, your creatine phosphate store is not the largest. Um, and therefore, it's a good way of increasing it with supplementation. The classic is do 20 grams a day for five to seven days and then whack it down to like three or five grams a day. Um, but yeah, what does it show? Increase in maximal strength and muscle contraction, single effort sprints, um, which again, it would be good if you're a track sprinter. And the reason I think it's so good is for cycling is because most people, when they go to the gym, even though everyone says you should go to the gym for the whole year, less bonus, you're probably not. So you really want to maximize the strength gains you can in the winter. So by taking creatine, I think it's a really good way of increasing your strength during winter. So I think if you go mental on the creatine, as soon as you basically start off season, you can get on the creatine um, and then hit the gym hard early doors. And hopefully you'll see loads of gains early on. Um, so I'm going to start at the moment with creatine. Obviously, I haven't noticed any difference because I'm just literally going to the gym like and riding like zone one. Uh, but so it's, you know, and obviously it's me as an anecdote, etc. However, what I do think is is that obviously the science is there that it is going to increase your, your muscle strength. And I think it will be really good um, to do in order to increase your performance in the gym, more gains on the bike, everything else in a short amount of time. If you're only going to go to the gym for 12 weeks, then you know, I feel real, really feel like you need to maximize that as much as possible and taking creatine I think is probably a really good way of doing it. Uh, so yeah, to conclude, I would highly recommend doing creatine in the, win in the winter. There's literally no downsides except you put on water weight, but if you're not racing in the winter, that is irrelevant. And uh, yeah, recovery should be increased, maximal strain. They also say it's easier to maintain muscle mass if you're in a calorie deficit, so easier to uh, to lose weight but not lose power but that one I couldn't really find a study on it but that was just what Will Gerling who was the sports nutritionist for EF said um, but anyway cheers for watching hope you did enjoy this quick video and I'll see you in the next one